your three-minute advantage so you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 Live Doppler. A reprieve from the rain today actually turned out to be a really nice Sunday afternoon. Beautiful sunset as well. By the way, in the western sky right now, just some high-level clouds starting to come back in. And that's a sign of some change back into our weather forecast. Quiet right now on the WVTM 13 Live Doppler. Obviously, that was a great tool tracking those severe thunderstorms yesterday afternoon. Through the evening hours, increasing clouds overnight tonight, increasing chances for a few rain showers. Temperatures holding steady tonight in the 50s. The bigger picture starting to show what's going to happen. That same front that passed through yesterday, it stalled down to our south. Now it's returning back north as a warm front. That means the moisture returns to our forecast and unfortunately it looks like it gets stuck right on top of us for much of the week. Elevated rain chances tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, just slightly lower as we head through the second half of Thursday and into Friday. So our forecast model painting the picture here. You see clouds and rain returning to central Alabama overnight tonight, and especially heading into tomorrow. The best chance for rain early tomorrow will be across our southern counties, increasing chances farther north as we head through the rest of the day. Then into Tuesday, much of the same, more occasional showers, a few rumbles of thunder, some elevated instability may mean a couple of thunderstorms, but overall the severe weather threat looks to be on the low side. Certainly good news as we head through this week, even into Wednesday, more of the same, more clouds, more on and off occasional rain showers. And once again, that wet weather will continue into Thursday, maybe a bit of a break on Friday, then a strong cold front comes through on Saturday, bringing big changes for the second half of next weekend. Between now and Thursday at lunchtime, most spots picking up an additional one to three inches of rain. Of course, it's been already a very wet start to 2020. Many spots already picking up upwards of five to six inches of rain for January, and so we'll be adding to that total, it looks like, as we go through the next several days. Tomorrow and Tuesday, both impact days. Once again, that doesn't mean there's going to be any severe weather in the forecast. That just means that the rain will likely have an impact on any outdoor plans you have in place or perhaps just getting to work or school. Impact day Tuesday, a little warmer Tuesday afternoon with highs back into the low 70s. Unseasonable warmth continues through the rest of the week. Cold front Saturday brings more rain then turning sharply colder by the time we get to next Sunday. Jared. Thank you.